Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. This is Twit Specials, episode 343, recorded June 6, 2019. Google Stadia Connect event. Hey everyone, welcome to Google Stadia's announcement, the big Google Stadia announcement at E3. I'm Jason Howell, and sitting next to me at the Tech News Weekly set, what's normally the Tech News Weekly set? Yeah, Megan now Maroney. it's now it's the yes, I'm Megan Mooney. Uh, it's the Twit Special. I know Twit this is not set. a Tech News Weekly. It's kind of weird because normally we do Tech News Weekly at this set, mm -hmm. but then you put something magical and graphical in the in the monitor, and that uh, clues us into yet a different show on the Twit Network where we talk about events and uh, announcements as they happen which is what we're going to do today. This is a Twit special covering the Google Stadia Connect event mm -hmm. at E3. Uh, and no surprise, the details have leaked. Yes. Yeah. So <laughs> we should probably say what Google Stadia is. You and sure. I know what it is. They've already made sort of an announcement about it, right? Like, yeah. It's yeah. Like online gaming. But yeah, basically it's a it's like a live streaming service uh, to your computer or to your Chromecast or to your tablet, whatever it happens to be. If it's within a browser, and I'm assuming this is going to be locked down to Chrome browsers, but for the most part, Google wants to turn whatever device you happen to have into like a high-end gaming rig. And the way that they can do that is Stadia, which they have announced. It's essentially streaming from their server farm in the cloud um, high-res video feed directly to your device. So all you really need as a user in order to participate in something like this and play these these top-tier games uh, is a, a fast internet connection. And even the slower internet connections, you know, it'll scale down on, on quality from what I understand, but it goes all the way up to 4K. Um, not sure if 60 frames per second is what it taps out to. I think, it's, I think so. It's 60 frames per second, 4K resolution. And, uh, you know, not, not needing a gaming rig is kind of what this is all about. And a lot of, a lot of people in the gaming industry have seen this as potentially the next, what, you know, the next big thing as far as, uh, gaming is concerned, because not everybody wants to spend multiple thousands of dollars on a gaming rig, uh, in order to, to play these, these games. So I could have like a $200, uh, Chromebook. And as long as my yeah. internet was fast... I could play whatever um, I wanted really fast. Yes. And it'd stream, you know, of course, the, the question is, would it stream fast enough? You know, latency is always the question on something like this. But um, anyways, it appears that Phil wants to talk because I think the event is beginning. So Phil, Phil Harrison is on and uh, we're going to follow this announcement and let you know what we learn, even though <laughs> Kotaku has all the leaked information. But I don't want to spoil the surprise for you yeah. quite yet. Let's hear so from we're going to hopefully hear from Phil uh, in a moment. It's probably just him talking about how cool everything is, but we I don't gave think you a actually announced yet. at Stadia, a new generation game platform powered by the best of Google. Today, we're going to tell you about the first wave of games available at launch. We'll share pricing details, including an exclusive launch offer, and you'll learn how to become one of the first Stadia players. Stadia has been years in the making across different Google teams. Google's mission has always been to make information more accessible for everyone. With Stadia, our goal is to make gaming more accessible for everyone too. We designed Stadia to bring together game players and game watchers from around the world into one global community of gamers. And Stadia makes it easy to play your favorite games on any screen in your life. At launch later this year, you'll be able to play Stadia games on your TV, desktop, laptop, tablet, and on Pixel smartphones, Adjust starting with Pixels. Pixel 3, as well as the brand new Pixel 3a that we announced last month. Wherever you are, Stadia lets you play the latest games. No downloads, no patches, no installs. Just grab your controller and you're in. This level of access and availability represents a huge shift in the gaming world. Instead of a console or a PC, you're using Google's data center as the platform. We handle the intense gameplay processing and graphics, so there's no console required to play your favorite games. That's what Stadia is all about, the games. Today, we're unveiling the very first wave of games coming to the platform at launch. We're working with hundreds of leading publishers and developers around the world to deliver their biggest and best titles to Stadia. 
We've lined up an incredible selection of games spanning nearly every genre, including fighting, sports, role-playing games, first-person action, and racing titles. And we're just getting started. This worldwide exclusive unveil comes straight from our friends at Larian Studios. So I'm wondering if this entire live streaming event is a pre-recorded video of some guy talking. <laughs> <laughs> there, there might not actually be any sort of stage, stage presence here. Yeah. And if you're just listening to this, there was a mature rating warning. So, so uh, I'm guessing that's going to be violent. So if beware. You just listen, that won't be a problem. <laughs> yeah, I'm really curious through all this to see if they are able to work with these studios and some exclusives. Like they'll be able to get, you know, the big titles, of course, uh, from from the big, you know, AAA studios. But you know, every console seems to have its own like ex you know, batch of exclusives that makes their console be the one that someone that's a fan of that console has to get, you know? I wonder if Stadia will have that. There's some really gross stuff this going on, so... Um, <laughs> do you know what game this is? No. Anthony? Do you, Anthony? You can be our... You can fill in the gaps for it's us. Squiddy McSquidface flying in the air. Who knows? Maybe this is a, an exclusive. <laughs> um, and... He's got armor. Squiddy mixed with face armor man. Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate. Okay, and this has been Yeah, this is this has been a okay. game that, that we've been hearing about, so. Um, okay, so Baldur's Gate apparently coming to oh, Stadia. Yeah, I think we're oh, tuning into just a pre-recorded right stuff. Um, because we want them to come with their IDs. No, thanks, man. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> My name is Sven Winke. I am the founder and director of Larian Studio. So Larian Studios was founded in 97 in Ghent in Belgium. I've seen the entire evolution of the games industry. We keep on driving the state of the art forward so fast. You don't have that in music, you don't have it in movies. Uh, but in video games you have it and Stadia is... So this will like be Baldur's Gate 3, it by is the quite way. Revolutionary. Oh, okay, good, thanks. Larian Studios <laughs> yeah. was founded to be able to create uh, big epic RPGs in which uh, the world reacts to what you're doing, in which you could play together with your friends. When we released Divinity Original Sin 1, I tried approaching Wizards of the Coast, trying to tell them that we should be the ones making Baldur's Gate 3. They didn't necessarily believe me back then, uh, but then we started making Divinity Original Sin 2, and then at some point they just reached out to me and they said, well, you're the guy that wanted to make Baldur's Gate 3. Do you still want to make Baldur's Gate 3? And say, yeah, of course I still want to make Baldur's Gate 3. And that got the conversation rolling, and before you knew it, uh, we were constructing story. It was awesome. It was a geek dream come true. Baldur's Gate 3 is the biggest game that we've ever done. Uh, we had to triple the size of the studio to be able to do it. Production values are uh, very, very, very high. But the game deserves it. I mean, it's, uh, people have been waiting on it for a very long time, so it deserves to be top-notch in every single aspect. And it's shaping up to be a beautiful game. But the coolest thing about it all is that by bringing it to Stadia, pretty much everybody is going to be able to play it at the highest quality settings, because uh, Stadia is... Uh, democratic in that sense, if you want. It doesn't differentiate between what platform you're playing it on because everything is server-based. Hmm. We can't wait for you to play Baldur's Gate 3 on Stadia. And whether you're playing an RPG like Baldur's Gate 3 or any of the other titles and genres we'll share today, we know that players demand the most responsive experiences from their games. And we have architected Stadia to give you the fastest possible response between what your fingers are doing and what your eyes are seeing. So, what does that mean for the internet connection you're on right now? Let's quickly dig into the numbers. Our highest quality gaming experience is remarkable, with 4K HDR video at 60 frames per second and 5.1 surround sound. We're able to deliver this experience to users with a connection speed of around 35 megabits per second. And with Google handling the processing load, you can enjoy smooth gameplay even if you don't have that kind of connection. So let's say you have a connection speed of just 10 megabits per second. You can still get at least 720p video at 60 frames per second with stereo sound. We're, We're really talking to me, of by the, the way, because that's basically what I get it. All <laughs> thanks to more than 20 fast. years of work with Google. It's kind of bummer that building it's only on pixels. Our networks and data centers For phones, and yeah, that's kind of surprising. Yeah. And I, I kind of wonder why that is, if it's Android. just meant to Google have its hooks Maps, into the Chrome browser. Mm -hmm. um, the I don't know, maybe there's something, maybe it's Google you know, controlling you know, quality control on phones, because there's so many different types of phones, Android phones out there with different hardware restrictions. I don't know, that is a little 
disappointing. I Back expected in October a wider of 2018, launch. We put this and I imagine the at some point they'll the widen it out. Stream. Google kind of does that. We invited users to stream Assassin's Creed Odyssey at up to 1080p and 60 frames per second. It was a phenomenal gaming experience on a wide range of PCs and laptops that were simply running a Chrome browser. With Project Stream, we demonstrated that we can transmit the live instance from the data center to your screen faster than your eye is transmitting those images to your brain. That's critical for fast-paced games on Stadia, like Mortal Kombat. It's truly a new paradigm for gaming. And since we announced Stadia a few months ago, we've gotten a lot of interest about this new way to play. In our conversations and meetups with game developers, they're excited about the possibilities of an ever-evolving play experience. And we can't wait to get Stadia in the hands of gamers later this year. So let's share some more details about the platform and what you'll need to get started at launch. You'll get the best experience playing with our new Stadia controller. It's designed specifically for streaming games, and it includes a capture button for your game footage and a button to access the Google Assistant. Of course, you can also play Stadia games with any supported any game controller or a with a mouse and keyboard. For recording the only other screen? thing you need I mean, is other a controllers have, play on. Yeah. Want to play have, on the HD TV yeah, options for doing different things. Just what this has that other controllers button. don't have is that assistant you'd button. Play on your laptop, uh, desktop, or tablet, it remains to be seen how useful and helpful that'll you actually be. You could ask what the weather me. was if you <laughs> haven't been outside in the last 72 yeah. hours. <laughs> or you can use the Stadia app. <laughs> or perhaps like uh, assistant, we'll how do I beat this boss or whatever. Maybe that would come in handy. Including more smartphones. When you're ready to play, the Stadia controller connects directly to your game running in the Google Data Center. That direct connection is key to providing the highest possible performance and the best streaming experience. Yeah, and that's we another so many huge more details on the Stadia controller, controller uh, versus which you can find the other at controllers Stadia. out there. It actually transmits also a and connects to the Google servers Stadia almost directly. To answer all your questions. Uh, We're very excited to introduce latency. you to a number of new titles coming to Stadia at launch. Let's take a look. I'm a wolf, raised to be the alpha, but trying to follow. Alas, the beast can't be tamed that easily. The graphics are amazing. I'll give you that. <laughs> they better be with the systems that they're running on in the, in the cloud. My kind. A free world where I can roam and explore with no end. Matthew it must be Matthew McConaughey. But I came here on the hunt, hidden among sheep, focused on their superficial dreams, moving up the food chain step by step before I dominate them all. Sounds like he's to clear his throat. One target always clearly in my sights. To secure the future with technology others developed but were too fearful to deploy. By tooth and claw, I took this island. And by tooth and claw, I will rule it. So far, I have only seen dudes in both games and of people talking about the games. I think there might have been a crying the young girl. <laughs> <laughs> right, a helpless, yeah. yes, yeah. Maybe. Looking for a hero. Tracking, analyzing, stalking, patiently, tirelessly. But there is no place for the weak and the wounded here. One thing that's really difficult is illustrating to anyone who cares about the service and what the service can offer. Like, it's one thing to show game footage and everything. It's another thing to prove how showing this game footage is actually a representation of the system itself. Right. You know what I mean? And I think this announcement, I mean, this is at E3, so they're really, you know, they, they were a little criticized. Google was a little criticized at their last event for having not. So that was... Uh, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Breakpoint, by the way, but criticized for not having a, a reveal of a lot of the games on the platforms. So everyone's like, okay, that sounds really great, but we know very little as far as what the catalog is. So it's nice to know the catalog and understand that a little bit more. 
still for people, you know, is, is the catalog enough to sell the service? People are still going to have questions as far as what the quality is, uh, how dependable the, the quality of streaming is, the latency aspects. And they're talking a little bit about fighting games and everything where latency is incredibly important. So the fact that they're working with these, these genres of games, like that's promising. I imagine Google wouldn't do it if it didn't work well from that perspective. But it's probably just the kind of thing where you have to try it to see for yourself. And once you see it, then you believe it. Right. And try it at like 7 p.m. when everyone else is using it or whatever. <laughs> 9 p.m., 10 p.m. Right. So this game we're watching now looks more like my style. It does have, does it appear to have a young female heroine. And it's spooky. And it's a mystery game and she's fighting and doing things and using her brain <laughs> to discover this mystery. It looks very Pixar-ish. Yeah, it really does. The Pixar quality to it. But if Pixar went dark. Yeah, dark, dark, <laughs> Pixar dark mode. Right. That's what this is called. I think you may have just come up with the, <laughs> the next Pixar movie. The first PG-13 Pixar movie. Guilt the Game. Guiltthegame.com. G-Y-L-T, by the way. All right, more to come. Crossy Road. <laughs> kind of. Uh, Crossy Road meets Sims, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a moving game, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> moving simulator. Oh, it's like a get packed, a collaborative game. Oh, so this reminds me because I have overcooked on my PS4, and it's a really good like team collaborative sort of thing. This this has a lot of uh, similarities to that. It's like kind of the top down. Uh, co-op game. Moving is really, moving and packing are very traumatic to me. This game is giving me <laughs> This anxiety. game looks really fun. I'm excited <laughs> about this. I would totally play this with the girls. Ooh, ridiculous physics. And I'm not sure if I would play this on Stadia or if I just hope that they release it on the PS4. Yeah. Because <laughs> I already have that. Get Get packed. 2020. Yeah. That looks fun. I like that one. Yeah. Here's to be post-apocalyptic Washington, D.C. So Tom Clancy's The Division 2 happened seven months after a deadly pandemic that started in New York, spread not only across the nation, Do Tom Clancy but also video games. across the yeah. world. And you, as an agent of the Strategic Homeland Division, has been called to Washington, D.C., to help take the city back and save the country. So one of the major challenges is to take an RPG and to create a fast-paced, action-packed shooting game. We learned a lot from the first game and we improved on that. And what we have today, I think, is the best cover-based shooter RPG out there. One of the real benefits of choosing Washington, D.C. for the second game is that we have all of these amazing, iconic buildings. The White House, the Capitol, we have the Air and Space Museum, we have the Lincoln Memorial, and of course, there's even a control point at the base of the Washington Monument. Stadia means that you can play your game anywhere. The collaboration with Google has been really awesome because they're very open, a very open company at least with us as partners. We know games, and they know infrastructure. So together we can bring a powerful, visually appealing experience to all Stadia users. Together we can make the best of it. The exciting part about partnering with Google is that they really have the bandwidth and just the physical infrastructure to pull something like this off. That's Bringing the Division 2 to Stadia has been a, a learning experience and so an immense. This is sort of a competitor to Apple Arcade. I mean, not in terms of power or like you know how fast or how good the like the graphics look, but in terms of time. You know, Apple Arcade is coming out soon, probably the same time. Mm -hmm. um, That's a look and it'll at be a just subscription some of service. the amazing titles we're bringing to you at launch. And now, here so, to tell you about Stadia's pricing and availability you, yeah. is my friend and colleague John. The We're launching Stadia with a diverse a mix of games from right. lots of genres and, and world-class game publishers. As well. There's truly something for everyone. With Stadia, you can put your money toward the things that really matter, the latest, greatest game experiences that you can play anywhere. 
To unlock these experiences, we're offering a premium subscription for our Stadia players. Introducing Stadia Pro. It delivers the best of Stadia for just $9.99 per month. Stadia Pro gives you regular content that we add to your library for being a Stadia Pro member at our highest streaming quality. 4K, HDR, 60 frames per second with 5.1 surround sound. And we're going a step further to celebrate players who want to be the first playing on Stadia. We know there's a passionate world of players out there who want bigger, better, more accessible gaming experiences. After announcing Stadia, we've heard from so many gamers who share our excitement. For those fans, we've created a custom limited edition set of exclusive features and content. We call it the Stadia Founders Edition, and you can pre-order it starting today. The Founders Edition includes everything you need to get started with Stadia, and you'll have the first access to Stadia when it launches later this year. We want to make sure your games look great on the biggest screen in your home, so the Founders Edition comes with a Chromecast Ultra for streaming it up to 4K HDR at 60 frames per second directly to your TV. You'll also receive a limited edition Night Blue Stadia controller, as well as three months of Stadia Pro. And we know gaming is more fun with a friend. The Founders Edition comes with a three-month buddy pass, so you can gift Stadia Pro access to a friend or family member. You can also pick up an additional Stadia controller for $69. It comes in clearly white, just black, and wasabi. Ooh. Wasabi. And here's the best part about the Founders Edition. You'll be among the first players to secure your exclusive Stadia name, so you'll get the Ooh. Stadia name you want and the bragging rights that go along with it. So you're getting a Chromecast Ultra, the limited edition night blue Stadia controller, three months of Stadia Pro for you and a friend, and you'll be among the first players to select a Stadia name. It's all in the Stadia Founders Edition, and it's coming to these 14 countries. I want my Stadia name. And we're working name. hard to expand Stadia to additional countries in 2020 and beyond. We do have one more surprise. Gamers who buy the Stadia Founders Edition will get the complete Destiny 2 experience as part of Stadia Pro. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. This is a preview of the streaming quality of Stadia. <laughs> Let's take a look. Oh, boy. That's Actually, this could be a preview of the Stadia heroes. quality, depending <laughs> on your bandwidth. The, world. the first time I fired my super, I was like screaming. I'm so badass right now. I haven't been playing games for 30 years, and I've never experienced that. Destiny is about playing with your friends. My best moments are with other players. The first time I beat Bolt of Class, I know who was there with me. And that just makes it feel so much more rich. Bungie's always been at the forefront of exploring new ways to bring our games to our players. We are now our own publisher. Did you know this? <laughs> and with Stadia, we get to be the tip of the spear with something that's new. Our push now is to remove all the barriers that we have to playing Destiny. Whenever, wherever, with whomever you want. And we're allowing players to have access to all of it. All of our planets, all of our cooperative strikes, all of our competitive modes, Gambit, raids. It's all there for players to jump in and have fun with. Shadowkeep is the next chapter in the Destiny story. It's a pretty haunting tale. There are these nightmares that are walking the moon, and you'll have to find a way to conquer these nightmares and face your fears. We have a lot to do with Destiny 2. We're not done yet. We now are in control of our own destiny. Behind us, we have an incredible community. And with Stadia, I think we're gonna open up an entirely new opportunity for players to come in and play with their friends from around the world. So a bundle of Destiny 2 in with the, um, was the Founders Edition. Looking right? to the future always brings us back to the past. Oh, that is so true. Sing it. Can you feel them? <laughs> I can still hear their voices. Here's where my ladies are at. Their endless torment reshapes our moon. Nightmares now stalk the surface. Walking shadows seeking vengeance. Our old fears, they rise again.
and do you like the ladies the in video games video. to be as dramatic sounding as this? I do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. Something sure. wicked <laughs> has awakened. We must bring an end to this suffering. One way. So, is that them saying that Fall 2019 thank you to Stadia? Our at Bungie for partnering with us to bring or the Destiny full 2, Destiny 2 experience to Stadia. The lines are blurred the base there. game, all previous add-ons, the newest expansion, and the annual pass. They're all included in your Stadia Pro subscription. And as an added bonus, you'll be able to transfer your Destiny Guardian to Stadia from any other platforms. To recap, the Stadia Founders Edition comes with limited edition night blue controller, Chromecast Ultra, three months of Stadia Pro, the full Destiny 2 experience, first dibs on your Stadia name, and a buddy pass to give Stadia Pro to a friend for three months. Good luck deciding who you're going to give it to. Mm. When you Good add luck. everything up, that's almost $300 of value. And you'll get it all in the Founders Edition for just $129, which you can pre-order now. I'm just going to get a bunch of We're excited to offer the Founders name. Edition to gamers around the world. <laughs> sell them. And then sell them on the black market, time, yeah. In limited quantities. So don't wait too long to pre-order. If you don't want the Founders the Edition or name, Stadia Pro, popular name will be more, worth more than $129. <laughs> without a subscription. You gotta, Simply buy the games you want there. when you want them. We call this Stadia that. Base. And Ooh. any games you purchase, Stadia they're base. yours to play whenever you want. So whether you're ready to go all in with the Founders Edition bundle, or if you prefer Stadia Base, you have options. All right, let's bring Phil back for a few final details and surprises. So, thanks for back, tuning Phil. in to this first look at some of our most exciting launch titles, pricing details, and how to access Stadia right at launch. You can get more details and info at stadia.com slash FAQ, or you can find it in the description here, or tweet us at Google Stadia. We'll have much more to come soon including additional announcements from some of the world's best game publishers. Thanks for watching. I can't wait for you to experience Stadia for yourself. And with that, we're excited to show you one last collection of games. Listen up already. Oh. All right, did you get all those? I saw Wolfenstein. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so basically this was just a big, a big games announcement. Yeah. Uh, a whole host of games. A little bit of extra details as far as pricing and um, and kind of the operation model, right? Some people were wondering if this was going to be a true Netflix-style service. Pay X amount of dollars, get access to the full library, uh, unlimited. That seemed like ambitious mm -hmm. <laughs> to hope for that. So I'm not surprised that they're not doing that. So it's kind of a combination between the traditional console model of actually buying games but just doing it in this like cloud-based virtual sense and also a little bit of a subscription model as well because because through this i think they also said that they're offering some things uh perks through the service if you're paying on a monthly basis as well so um wait so the subscription service you don't get everything no, you don't get everything. What do you get with their subscription service? Uh, you get well, you get access to your games in the cloud using their servers, and uh, and apparently, if you do the Founders Edition, you get Destiny Two included. But yeah, you're you're buying per game. Well, I thought that the I thought there were two. Okay, I'm confused because I thought there was the Stadia Base you pay per game, and then the nine ninety nine a month Stadia Pro, you get four K HDR, but then you also have to buy the games. Mm -hmm. So what's as far as, why I, as, far as I understand, you have to buy the games. Oh, um, yeah, oh. I don't. I don't think it's like an all-you-can-eat sort of thing. Like here, have all of these games for nine ninety-nine a month. So um, then, what's the difference between Stadia Pro and Stadia Base? Stadia Base is uh, totally free. Only allows games played at ten eighty p resolution. Oh, okay. So the Stadia Pro is you get four K and HDR. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Um. Yeah. So I mean, I, you know, I, I feel like there's definitely more to be read here. They they offered the FAQ and they really they said they, they really didn't say a whole lot about the service to be honest. Like yeah. like we were talking about this really seemed to be focused on 
kind of part of mostly on uh, what games, you know, people are curious to know what, what kinds of games, what uh, development houses are actually, you know, have, have created a working relationship with Google here. And it's no surprise they're all getting on board, but that's, that's a, a positive for people who are wondering whether this is going to be supported and, and um, you know, supporting a lot of the, the top tier games. You're going to see that here. Got it. I see. So with the City of Founders edition, um, that was, you know, you get your name and you get a controller and a buddy pass. And then you also get the one game, the Destiny game. Yeah. And so there they're saying, yeah, that would be included uh, right. and added to your library. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like, you know, instead of instead of buying, you know, a, a Blu-ray disc or whatever and having it on your on your your uh in your cabinet at home, it's stored virtually. You know, it's kind of similar to their music model or whatever. It's all in the cloud and you can access the games that you've pre-purchased through Stadia Got on the it. cloud. That's how I understand it. And if I'm missing something, <laughs> well, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but that's how I understand it. So I'm assuming Leo will probably get the Founders Edition. I see on Twitter that Kevin Tofel has already ordered his Founders Edition. Oh, so, okay. Um, when I start, he's gonna he's gonna register full, Kevin C. Tofel. Yeah, I'm as not his gonna username. take that name. I'm gonna take just Kevin Tofel and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be a uh, what do you call him? Um, the people that uh, a squatter. Yeah, Stadia squatter. You're gonna be a Stadia squatter. I always I always thought you'd be a. Stadia I know. Squatter. I've always wanted to be a Stadia squatter. <laughs> uh, yeah. So let's see here. So I guess I guess that answers some some questions. But still, Google's really working it here. They're they're doing the trickle down. You know, trickle trickling out little pieces of information to keep you interested mm -hmm. because they are obviously are not ready for release. The only hint they seem to give was they use the ever elusive launching later this year mm -hmm. <laughs> so there's no real specific details there however when they were showing the destiny 2 playthrough that did specify fall 2019 and then it came out to the stadia device kind of layout that that seems to be somewhat of a signature of stadia so i don't know if that's more of a hint to say fall 2019 yes destiny 2 but also stadia to to launch to support that mm -hmm. um or later but that seems to be about the time i was thinking that we'd probably see this would be sometime around the fall yeah it says november so that's what kevin says it ships in november okay so founders um, edition shipping in november 2019 so it looks like it's available in all of the u.s except uh hawaii guam and the u.s virgin islands they're not oh. supported probably from for bandwidth Possibly issues, so. Says. Yeah, it well, says we've made infrastructure investments to ensure that we have data centers close to as many users as possible. But those of you living in Hawaii, Guam, and the U.S. Virgin Islands, you're not supported. Got so it. Okay. Get yourself an iPhone and sign up for Apple Arcade. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the same, Megan. <laughs> no, it's not the same not at all. Not the same. <laughs> uh, any, any final thoughts on <laughs> Stadia? How, have, how did you like their pre-recorded content? I really loved it. Um, <laughs> So a few other notes that I'm getting from the FAQ, you don't yeah. need to use their controller. You can use mm. many popular HID compliant controllers. Right. Um, yes. And so those essentially like the, the way, the reason that you would want to use their controller is because it actually has Wi-Fi capability built into the controller itself. So instead of having to route your traditional controller into your computer and then through the internet, it can have a direct connection. Mm -hmm. And so that cuts down on the latency is, is what they're saying as far right. as these controllers are concerned. But yeah, absolutely. Which is, it's nice to have that support though. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of the people who are going to be interested in Stadia probably already have have a, a Bluetooth controller or a console controller of some mm -hmm. sort. Um, and so, you know, maybe maybe that's for like second player. That's for your guest. When your guest comes over, right, you can have you can have the Bluetooth controller. I get the Wi-Fi controller yeah. though, because it's my system. Right. And you, you will yeah. win. Because the founder edition comes with a buddy pass, but not an extra controller, right? Right. But so. they did say you could buy an extra controller, $69 for an additional controller. Those okay. are pricey controllers, no matter how you slice it. Yeah. If that's a deal, if that's like a, a deal price yeah. on the normal price of a controller, those are pricey controllers, but they are a little different than the other controllers out there. So the Founders Edition comes with a Chromecast Ultra. Do I need a Chromecast at all? Or because like I have an Android TV, would I need a Chromecast or could I just, because well, there's a Chromecast built into my Android TV, right? Yeah, and what Android, oh, your TV set is an Android yeah. TV. Um, I, you know what? I don't know that we have a specific answer on that. Mm -hmm. I would assume so. Yeah. Because Android TV does have Chromecast built mm -hmm. into it. Um, 
But, you know, but then again, I wouldn't be surprised mm -hmm. if they're specific. I mean, they're specific about the phones, right? The mm -hmm. pic Only the Pixel lineup uh, are going to be able to do it. And I don't even know if all the Pixel phones are going to be able to do it based on what he said. He said Pixel 3 and 3A. Um, I so, thought he said any Pixel phone, including okay. the new ones. Oh, including the new ones. So yeah. you might have heard that, yeah, Because the, the newer ones are the cheaper ones, right? The 3A is yeah. the newest one, and that's the cheaper, cheaper one, which is... Which is good in the sense that, you know, if, if Stadia is all about making any hardware work, mm -hmm. that kind of proves that, right? The 3A doesn't have the most top of the line processor on phones, but it's a bummer because all, you know, there's so many Android devices out there. Yeah. They're all going to want to be able to participate, owners of those phones. But Google really does this a lot, at least in the Android world. They'll release something and make it pixel specific. Mm -hmm. And then about six or eight months later, they open it up to everyone. So in the beginning, it's a reason to sell their phones. And then they end up opening it up because they realize they want as many people using that service as possible because they also make ridiculous amounts of money off the services. So, so we'll see what happens there. Um, uh, Scooter X has uh, at launch, uh, we will be supporting Pixel 3 and 3A devices uh, for mobile gameplay. More devices available in the future. Oh. Um, so there you go. So it is just the 3 and the 3A and arguably the 4 when it's announced later this year. But you can buy games and manage your content on any device, including an iPhone that has iOS 11 plus. So you can still spend your money on any device. Yeah. You just can't use the play the games on any device. Right. But I could see if you had like an Android TV and an, only an iPhone, that would make sense. Sure. Sure. Um, so what's going on now in the announcement? Is this something new or are they re-showing what? They yeah. Yeah. It's, I guess they're demonstrating... This was their previous announcement, or I don't know if this is them on the stage. I don't know. Do we have any clarity on that? Oh, the next. The controller. Oh, uh, so this keyboard. is the previous announcement that we saw okay. a couple of months ago. Right. So all right. Then... So I think we're all good. So, yeah. I mean, there's <laughs> I mean, a little bit of extra information if you're curious about Stadia. Uh, there you go, nine ninety nine a month for Stadia Pro, which is what you're going to want uh, if you want 4K HDR, 60 frames per second, 5.1 surround. Um, and then, of course, the Founders Edition, which has all of those b uh, bonuses and perks, $129, $300 value there. And you can actually pre-order that starting today if you want to get in and get that name like Kevin C. Tofel did mm -hmm. yeah. uh, moments ago. Mm -hmm. If you want to be like Kevin, then you can do that right now. Mm -hmm. I think yeah, that's about I, it. I got to go because I got to go um, Stadia squat. Okay. Day. <laughs> How much money do you have to invest in the Stadia squatting business? I don't know. I, I'm going to put it all on Stadia squatting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pull out all my Bitcoin and invest in Stadia <laughs> yes, names. Uh, so, yeah, this has been Twit Live special number 343, the Google Stadia Connect announcement. That's right. Um, Thank you for watching. Yeah. And I, I hope you're just a teensy bit more excited about Stadia. Uh, Twit.tv slash specials. Mm -hmm. For all of the live shows that we do that that cover events like this, the events that we cover usually aren't pre-recorded, so you know sometimes there's a little bit more of stage action and stuff, and a little bit more to share. But uh, like if someone might mess up or something, yeah, that's always that's exciting. why we're here. Basically, that's basically why we're here. <laughs> Uh, but twit.tv slash specials if you want to subscribe to that feed and see these events, kind of the talking heads version of the events uh, as they happen along the way. Mm -hmm. And we'll talk more about this on Tech News Weekly, which is coming up. Uh, if you're watching this live, it's coming up in an hour and a half. But it will, it will be published later on today as right. well. So. so if you're not watching this live, go subscribe to Tech News Weekly. Yeah, you should so, do that. Yeah. We're on this set after all. Mm -hmm. So if, you've, if this has felt comfortable to you. Yeah. Then if there this you go. Is your vibe, as the kids say. <laughs> I'm not sure the kids say that anymore, but I but I do. So yeah. I'm with you. Uh, and we should definitely end with a high five. Okay. I'm Jason Howell. I'm Megan Maroney. We'll see you next time on Twit Live Specials. Bye, everybody. Yeah.